Hi, this is Yao from ODK. I wanted to show you a few of the improvements we've made to ODK to support longitudinal data collection. The biggest of these features is called Entities. It's a feature that lets you share data between forms. To make entities more real, let's pretend we're running a BetNet distribution project where we register households one day and then return to those same households a week later to hand out bed nets only to the households with children. Let's get started. The registration is straightforward. So I start a new form, I open it up, I enter the family name, the number of children under five, and then I get the point to register the GPS coordinate of the household. There it is and then I can enter any other additional details I want. So this looks like a regular ODK form, but it's entity enabled. So after I enter some of these notes and I hit next, and then I save the form, it creates a household entity that can be shared with other forms in this project. Viewing households that you've registered is also easy. Let's do a household visit to show you. We start a new form and then we do the household visit we select a place, we can see the four households that we've registered. The Mahama one we just did, you can see it there. Uh, two children under five there, and then there's another household there with no children under five. Each household entity has its own set of properties, like the number of children under five, and you can use these properties as part of the form filling process. Of course, because ODK is designed for offline use, you can download offline map layers and add those to the map for a greater context. These are great for adding high resolution imagery or annotated maps and more. So let me show you an example of that. Here, I have my household. I can select an offline layer. I can download these from the web or download these from Google Drive. I'll add it. Uh, and then I can view that offline layer here. And so you can see it, it's, it's in yellow. I can zoom in and out and the layer gets hidden uh, if I zoom out, but if I zoom in, I can see it again. As you deliver bed nets, you can update the status of the delivery. So uh, we're gonna select a household here with our offline layer. Um, we'll select the household. Uh, and then we'll try to deliver a bed net. Let's say the bed net delivery failed. Here again, the delivery is updated as part of the entity data. And so when I go to revisit that household, maybe a day later or two later, so you can see that the color has indeed changed. So you can change the status of your entity uh, depending on data that you've entered. And of course, it's not just failed deliveries that you can update the status on. You can also update the status on successful delivery. So let's see that. So we click on the Mensa household. Uh, we hit next and we successfully deliver a bed net here. We hit send. And then when we go back uh, to do a household visit sometime later, we'll see that the map has changed. So uh, fill deliveries are red and successful deliveries are green. What I've showed you is just a taste of what you can do with entities in ODK. There's so much more. For example, you can dynamically filter the map while you're offline hiding households that don't have any children. You can prevent duplicate registrations of households. You can add geometry like shapes or lines to entities and display those on the map. You can pre-register entities by uploading a CSV to ODK or doing that via the API. You can even connect Power BI, Excel, Python R directly to ODK so you can visualize and report on entity data. If you have an upcoming project that would benefit from all these great features, please request a personalized demo from getodk.org. And as always, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe.